All right, guys, so I got a 2003 Chevy Trailblazer LS, 4.2 liter, okay? So this thing, it wouldn't start. Um, it wasn't because it had a bad ignition. Uh, it wouldn't start in park uh, like normal. So what I did was I shifted it to neutral and fired right up. Well, that tells me that it's got a bad neutral safety switch. Well, I went ahead and replaced it and all that and come to find out that was the problem. So I'm gonna show you guys real fast pretty much how to do this on a 2003 Chevy Trail. Okay. Let me crawl up underneath of this thing. It's nothing easy, guys, just to warn you, okay? Unless you can somehow slide that neutral safety switch past that drive shaft. This drive shaft right here, I couldn't get that neutral safety switch past it. Okay, there's a little shaft right there. See that shaft? Okay. It, it, so your neutral safety switch slides down this here shaft, and then once it gets so far, it binds up on this axle. So you gotta unbolt that bastard. That's what I had to do. Unbolted it, um, finagled this bastard out, put the new one in, positioned it. So that's another thing you gotta do. You gotta position it correctly, or else it won't work. So I got my position. Got it positioned how it needs to be. So let's finish this real fast. Let's tighten down my nut. Just bear with me here. I only got two hands. I want that to tighten down. That way I can lock that into place where it needs to be. So bear with me here, guys. Bear with me. Alright. So. Alright, hold on. Alright, so now that I have that tightened down, the next thing you guys want to do is just hang in there for me. I got two hands, I'm trying here. So, next thing you want to do is you want to put your your lever back on for your gears okay alright you gotta kinda finagle the bitch on there you gotta you gotta wiggle it back and forth until you get it on there all the way just bear with me Let's see if I can get it on there. I'm gonna pause the video. Alright. Alright, so once you get your nut on there, that's what it'll look like. Okay. You got your nut on, lever on, and then what you want to do is take your cable. Bear with me, you gotta snap that on, hold on. All right, so there. I got the cable on, it just snaps on. Oh, and I had it on backwards. So, if you had it facing this way, you need to flip it around and have it facing that way. That way you can snap your cable on, everything lines up right. Um, I think whoever done this in the first place, can't remember, but I think they had this one backwards and that's why everything was all messed up and um, yeah but anyways let's see what we got here all right. 
let's see if all right let's put you you got now you got to put your cable on up here also okay so show you all how to do this this here will there's a button on the side here guys that you push in and then you oh bear with me and I push this button down and then you shift it back so you push the button in on the side push your yellow button down just hold on there you go I just slid that back that way it can and maybe maybe it gives me enough leverage anyways just snap it on there you go it just pops off and it I know you guys didn't see that but there you go just snaps right on okay you snap that on and then sorry about this shaky ass video shit I got one hand that I'm using I have no helper to help me with my video so there this here there you go this here it, it slides in position and clips in so there you go so all right we're in park everything's good neutral safety switches in let's see if this fixed it okay there you go it's in park and fired right up there you go it's showing park actually before I did all this guys before I did all this it wouldn't even show you see how it's got an underline under the P it wouldn't even show that underline which which also told me that okay so um, it looks like it's fixed uh, sorry it's kind of hard to concentrate I'm, I'm actually doing this while recording I'm, I'm going through trial and error here it's, it's kind of hard to video and work on a vehicle all at once anyways I fixed the problem so if you guys is here let's, let's try this this will be the final test okay because before I started this job okay let's just say this before I started this job okay let's just say I went to start it and it wouldn't start okay that was the first problem it would not start well now this starts well before I fixed it and it wouldn't start and all that when I pressed the brake pedal it wouldn't go into gear or nothing neither well now it goes into gear see that press the brake well it just did it for me alright batteries you know what guys hang tight now I got a dead battery so alright anyway hold on